I'm about to rest my case right now. I hope you guys are ready for this. What's going on, guys? I think it is time that we talk about Uno. Yeah, you know, the, the family card game Uno. You know, Deluxe Uno and Uno 99. Mattel acquired Uno in 1992, and from that moment on, it became the most popular card game in the world. As of recent, I've been really loving Mattel Creations and the cool collaborations and products they've been putting out. My most recent purchase on Mattel Creations was a collaboration between the classic family card game Uno and Shepard Fairey, aka the founder of Obey. And I've been a huge fan of the brand Obey for such a long time, so buying this collaboration totally made sense. And when I got that limited edition box in the mail, I thought to myself, I could collect some Uno variations. Mattel released another couple limited edition Uno collaborations with brands like Bape, Drew House, The Hundreds, and the luxury brand Montclair. And they just kept coming and coming. I literally couldn't believe it. After thinking about it, I find myself at Walmart, I find myself at Target, and you know what I see? Limited edition, different variations of Uno everywhere. If you go to your local Target or Walmart right now, I bet you can count at least 10 different versions of Uno just chilling on the shelves. And that's when I really thought to myself, how many different Uno versions are there? If I go down this rabbit hole of collecting, is it even possible and is it even worth it? So today, that is exactly what we're going to look at. So I did some more research and I actually found a website called Uno Variations and of course, eBay. My two main sources of information. Come to find out that in the 50 years Uno has been around, they've released around 507 different versions, variations, and spin-offs of the game. And after scrolling through all 507 different versions, arts, variations, spin-offs, I came to one conclusion. Collecting Uno would be absolutely an epic collection. Uno is literally so current on everything, and it seems like they've collaborated with every single event ever. Batman Begins 2005, Uno Edition. The Dark Knight 2008, Uno Edition. Batman v Superman 2015, it has an Uno Edition. In fact, there are six different Batman Uno variations. Even Cars has four different versions. Would you believe that over a hundred, one-fifth of all Uno variations are sports-themed? Mattel dropped 12 Australian Football League editions in 2021 alone. Most Uno games have that very classic look meant to be hung up in the toy section of your retail store. Super unaffordable, but sometimes Uno games come out with a special edition packaging as well. And the first time I ever actually noticed a special edition Uno game was the Obey version that I got in the mail. All right, I hope you guys are ready for this. Check this out. Pirates of the Caribbean, Nightmare Before Christmas, Family Guy, Hello Kitty, Charlie Brown Christmas, Golden Compass, Doctor Who exclusive to the UK, and I would never ever forget Shrek. And speaking of special editions, remember all the sports ones I just talked about? Well, they just have sports jerseys and helmets for basically every team ever. So, I mean, very recycled idea, but still looks nice. Uno Braille Edition. I could really see how that one would be really awesome. Uno also hit it very hard overseas. My favorite anime, One Piece, even has four variations of its own, with the first one coming out all the way back in 2003. And collecting these would actually be so difficult. I've only ever seen two of the four of these versions ever. One of them you can actually buy right now, and the other one is like $100, and I've never even seen the other two before. You can actually get some of the Japanese Uno variations on Sugoi Mart right now, so I would definitely go check out their website because I absolutely love these. And being a somewhat definitely anime-loving channel, there are a lot of anime variations that I really do love. Detective Conan, Dorymon even has three versions, with the earliest one coming out in 1997. I was five years old. Dragon Ball Super, Pokemon even has five versions. Kiki's Delivery Service, My Neighbor Totoro, and my favorite one is this Japanese McDonald's version. For some reason, I have no idea why. I just think it looks cool and it's so unique. Milk Chocolate Uno, are you joking? And then we've got Uno Jr. geared specifically for kids and having about 35 of its own variations. These first Uno games come with only 35 cards compared to the traditional 108 playing cards and some of them are really cool like Sesame Street and Rugrats. And finally, that brings us to spin-off games. Uno has about 50 spin-off games. In fact, a lot of these spin-offs even have multiple versions, second editions, and they still hit those promotions so hard. Like Uno, I, I SpongeBob, edition. I would love that one. We've got Uno Spin, Uno Spin Hannah Montana edition, Uno Spin One Piece Japanese exclusive edition. Also would love that one. And just like any fandom, no matter how small it is or strange it is, there are going to be collectors. However, amongst my own research, it seemed like Uno collectors are very small and seem to be hard to find. I found one Uno information buy sell trade group with 28 members. Make that 29. And the biggest collectors that I find are David Moria from Mexico claiming that he has over 165 unique Uno variations, Andy Cohen and Becky Samuel, two cousins sharing an Uno collection with over 215 unique versions. And finally said to have the biggest Uno collection are Jim and Wendy Kallenberger with over 327 unique versions. 
Everyone's a collector of something, and honestly, I think Uno is so cool, and I can't believe they've done so much awesome stuff. For something that's been on the shelf and hiding in plain sight ever since before I was born, I had no idea they had this many variations, limited editions, collaborations, or spin-offs. And I'm actually more surprised that the collecting community is as small as it is. So this begs the question, I'm sure everybody, maybe nobody is asking, what about 2022? I'm about to rest my case right now. I hope you guys are ready for this. 